morning YouTube um, just finished a finished up some customers knives this morning and I had realized that I basically had done two videos about cold steel knives and I had some other cold steel knives and I said I was gonna do it I have a few of the odd unique designs I have two that I really like like I said I have the cold steel triple actions and I really like these. Uh, they stopped making them. Um, uh, I really like these. I thought that had they not been made out of this crappy aluminum, that they would have been a very, uh, they'd have been a really nice knife. They um, are reminiscent of a butterfly knife, but not really. And let me get this, there we go. That way it's not gonna do that up and down with the uh, exposure lock. Um, they are what they call an enclosed folder, they're triple action lock, some other people have made them. Um, but they're, they're, they're a really nice knife. Um, the problem you have is the detent winds up getting sloppy. Uh, the detent is a steel ball set in aluminum, and then this aluminum handle here slides, um, let me see if I can get it up in here so you can see, there's a little notch in here. Um, that's supposed to hold it closed. You can hear it click, and uh, that aluminum just wears out. You know, you get a, a little steel ball set in aluminum, and then it wants to come open your pocket. So if you carry it in the right hand, you know, if you carry it right handed, you can slide it way up in your pocket, and slide it way forward, and and slide it up, and it'll, it'll hold it shut. Uh, or you, I would carry it uh, in my hip pocket in my right hip pocket and slide it way over against and it would keep it shut and but that would fall open like that in your pocket and then you reach back and and it's it's done that so um this one is the worst of the two that does that um i tried to take it apart i tried to fix little issues um you wound up with some blade play this one i was able to fix some of the blade play issues um tightened it up a little bit with these screws that uh, wound up holding it all together. But had it been made of maybe a different material, I mean, you got some rapid deployment with these. If you ever watched the videos, the, the guys that, that played with these on the videos were, they would, uh, they would do some really cool, you know, whoop, be careful, I don't know how sharp I keep these, but you know, basically I, I played with these and taught myself how to do it, you know, basically is drop it open and you know and, and do it from these movements but you can hear some some blade play and some blade rattle uh, I still carry these from time to time they're nice to have they're really nice um, they're nice little knives uh, one of the only ways like I said with this one that you can ever uh, mention it in the video that I did before the only way slide back here that you can carry a double-edged knife in a configuration as a folder that's not a butterfly. Um, much safer way to flip than a butterfly knife. No chance that that's gonna, you know, swing around and fold back on your hands like a butterfly knife is. My daughter's got a, today's her birthday, she played around, when we were out last night, she bought a splat ball. She's, but behind here is a window. She's slamming it up against the window. <laughs> um, these are some of their off-the-wall designs that I actually liked, but um, they've had a lot of other off-the-wall designs. This is one that was purchased that I kind of, I liked, I thought I liked, I wanted to get it, I wanted to try it out. It's worthless. Horrible. It was a horrible thought. Let, I, um, I can't think his name now. Those anti-seizure meds made me forget his name. Um, but at any rate, Cold Steel. Uh, Lynn Thompson decided they wanted something people loved. You know, they were trying to ride the the Bala song, switch their butterfly knife uh, wave, and so they they made what they called their paradox. And you can see, it came back out of the box. So that should tell you how much I like this knife. Yeah, it doesn't ever get any pocket time because. The deployment on this is so horrible. You have to, <sighs> horrible. 
Everything else about this is really nice. Well, there is something about it though. Um, I like the blade design. It's a really nice blade doesn't have that leaf design. It, it's good, they're, it's AUSA 8. It takes a fairly decent edge. Um, the blade design, it's got a really nice hollow. It came well, well ground. Took a really nice edge easily. Um, in the hand, it's really, really comfortable. Nice, straight. If you were to uh, want to use this in a, a fighting knife capacity, if you've ever taken martial arts, um, if you took any of the Filipino martial arts, a scrama or stuff like that, this would be beautiful. Once it's open, it's perfect. Uh, closed, it would make a great yawa stick uh, for, for self-defense and fighting. It's just the fact that it's a pain. It's really stiff. It's hard to, and then it's the springs. You got to be careful. It wants to snap shut on your fingers. It's, it's not very good for what it would be carried for. It's got a pocket clip so you could carry it and people would want to carry it for maybe for self-defense. No, would not want to. Poorly thought out. Now, at one point, um, Cold Steel made a bala song and then stopped. And there, I think it was called the Arc Light. I believe. Don't remember. It's been a long time. I think I was still. I'm old, so I think I was in high school. Maybe when they were still making that the Arc Light series. Uh, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, the it. It was a nice knife, and I always wanted one. And there, no one gives them up when they, if they have one. But these are the ones that I have that are their off the wall kind of weird thing. And like I said, I like these. I wish they would. They had talked about for a while they were going to come back. And it's just, it's just two pieces of of aluminum in a U pattern, and it was rolled with a pattern on it. And uh, this one, I I didn't. This one I, I had taken apart, and then I sanded it. I, I didn't like the the shiny on the on the tanto. I, I took it apart and I put some new bushings in and I found some some little Teflon bushings that fit the bill for it and I tightened this one up. This one doesn't have much play. This one um, I didn't carry it as much, but it does have some play. But you know, if I was carrying this in a self defense capacity, would the blade play really matter? No, not so much. Um, but Cold Steel has had a lot of other over-the-top crazy designs. If you've ever watched the videos, you've probably seen it, and they've just gotten more crazy and over-the-top over the years. They're, they're, uh, they're huge knives that they, that they make. They're, 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 they're massive. They're huge. Um, it, it's, it's insane how, how they come up with these things, and then... They'll have these massive things, and then you, you see that they'll make them for a couple years, and then they'll stop because they realize that they, they don't sell. They don't. They don't. They just they're they're a niche market kind of thing. Um, but uh, they they are starting to. I think they're starting to change some of their business practices and thought process on stuff. So uh, they are kind of coming back to higher quality CTS XHP and on their steels and their DLC coatings and. I haven't gotten my hands on any of those yet, so we'll we'll see what that looks like. Um, so, I, I had an interesting experience uh, up at Firm Forge the other night. Um, I will uh, I will put that in another video, but it it was it was a lot of fun. I didn't find out exactly who the gentleman I met was until later in the evening, but uh, it was a, a gentleman that uh, I I was I was impressed with who I had who I had met once I found out who it was. But yeah, this isn't gonna be a long video. Um, but yeah, you, like I said, Cold Steel, this is pretty much the end of my, my run of Cold Steel knives. I wish that there was a way to make this a more functional knife. Oh, the other issue with this knife. Um, so as you can see, and you look in here, the, the, basically the backs are springs and they run through. So when this knife snaps shut, you can hear it. Well, if you snap it shut that way, it's not a problem. But if you happen to, snap it shut the other way and you allow the the that one to go shut and then you snap this one shut now i have to resharpen that knife I, I i guarantee i do i've 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 had this out enough times and yep now i can see it uh and i can feel it it rolled the edge it snaps shut and it touches 
that steel spring and you're not going to be able to see it on here might be able to pick it up where you can I'm using the front facing camera so probably not going to be able to see where it, it just it snaps shut hard enough that it allows that blade enough play in here so I would imagine if I sharpened it down a few times enough that that would be so their tolerances um, coming out of Taiwan this is coming out of Taiwan uh, gry handles um, but like I said all once you get it open it's it's a nice knife uh, it's it's a fairly decent balisong style knife once you get open it's just the fact that it's it, it's something that like the the 19 20 year old 17 18 year old kid that walks into the store is like oh it's it's a butterfly knife and he sees it and he gets it home and he's like oh if you but then you can't nope worthless worthless purchase Mike I don't even remember this a lot like that tie light I don't remember how I got it I know I got it I remember getting this one but I don't know how I got the tie light the tie light's gonna go away I that tie light I cut that sharpening notch in um I had it, like I said, I had a customer ask me to sharp, put a sharpening notch in on his too. I did it for him, but on this one, uh, on, on mine, I should put a sharpening notch in and I actually used it. I only used it a couple, a few times and I actually didn't even hard use it that much. And the blade on mine is just, you can hold the handle and it's just Taiwanese knives with plastic handles and Teflon washers that cost $30. Chinese knife made out of made out of titanium with bearings and I've used this a lot. This probably won't last as long though, however, is a, an American made knife with the same kind of construction that I paid four hundred dollars for. So Alright YouTube, pretty much the end of it. As you can see again, we have a flowery backdrop. This is probably gonna be it from time to time thing. Um, sorry if the videos are dark, the, the, the light is at the end of this video is changing. It's the weather's weird today. The light's changing back and forth, but really don't need knife to see or light to see that this is a weird screwed up poor, poorly thought out design by Mr. Lynn Thompson. But, uh, if you can get your hands on one of these, on one of these, uh, triple actions, they, they're, they're something nice to have and the steel. No, I'm making the video long again. Well, the last one was short. Uh, if you can get your hand on one of these, these are their VG1 stainless made in Japan. Um, I, I would like to say that I think that basically what they did was they rebranded the VG10 as VG1. And I mean, this is, yep. Oh yeah, hair popping. Just catching them. Can you hear it? Let's see. Yep, it's pop. Yep, it's popping them. Here is your proof. Popping hairs off. So, yep, there's beard hairs all over. So, I haven't done anything with this in probably four years. It's been in my drawer. It just sits there. So. It's good. It's it's good quality steel on these. These were made in Japan. They did they did good work with these. Uh, they uh, they 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 did did really good with their stuff that was coming out of Japan. So, uh, Lynn, if you if you ever get a chance to watch my videos, I know I'm only one customer. Like to see a better, more robust, American made, maybe. A steel handled version of this keep the steel keep the steel the blades are made out of but a better version of the handles all right YouTube I'm out uh, got things we're doing for my kids birthday now that she's done with her study all right you guys take it easy later